Hey y'all. At the request of some friends, I'm going to make a video on how I make my caramel for the centers of my chocolate caramel macarons. Uh, I do this with a slightly firmer caramel and I'm going to show you how I do that. So here I have 87 grams of softened salted butter. I use salted because it eliminates the need for me to go back and try and figure out how much salt I want to put in the caramel uh, after the fact. It just makes a perfect flavor and so that's why I do that. This is 60 milliliters of heavy whipping cream and over here I have 175 grams of sugar. It's just regular granulated sugar and then in the middle here I have 60 milliliters of water and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sugar and the water in my saucepan here and mix it up a little bit and then we're going to go over to the stove and I'm going to show you how the magic happens. See you in a second. Okay, so I have my sugar and my water mixed together on um, in the pan and I have washed down the sides to make sure there's no sugar crystals um, on the sides that might cause it to crystallize as it gets hot. I've turned this on to, it's just a little bit above medium, somewhere between medium and medium high. And I'm going to let this boil until it becomes kind of a rich caramely color. And I'm not gonna suffer you to have to watch through that whole thing. So I will just come back when it's closer to being ready. I'm about halfway through the boiling point right now. Um, starting to get a little color in the syrup, so I just thought I would check in and let you see what that's looking like now. Um, as this continues to boil, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop my cream in the microwave and heat it up until it's very hot because we don't want to put cold cream into our hot sugar syrup because that could totally cause it to seize. So I'm going to do that and we'll be back when we're ready to combine. Okay, I'm back and my sugar syrup is starting to get a nice color now. Hope you can see it. It's okay to um, swirl the pan a little bit just to make sure everything's heating evenly. We're going to be there in um, just a couple seconds here. This is not about cook temperature, this particular caramel. This is about the color of the sugar. So what you do is you take the sugar to whatever um, depth of color that you want the caramel to be. The darker it is, the more bitter of a flavor that you're going to get. So just keep that in mind when doing it. I'm going to put my glove on here. Let's see, do that on the other hand. Because I'm going to add the cream here in a second. In fact, right now, I'm going to turn the heat off. And this is going to steam and hiss like crazy. And so that's why I have the glove. So in goes the cream. Trust me, you don't want to do this without a glove. That is just going to hiss and bubble and spit and be obnoxious for a couple seconds here. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. As it goes down again, just going to wait until it calms down just a little bit. And I'm going to add half my butter. Now I can bring in my whisk. Just whisk in the butter. See, we have a beautiful dark caramel. That's going to be delicious. And then I'm going to put in the rest of my butter. And then what I'm going to do is I have about an inch of super cold water in my sink. And I'm going to take this over there and I'm going to just plunge it into the cold water and I'm going to stir it while it cools and thickens and then I'll come back and show you the final product. Alright, so I'm back with my final caramel after it has cooled a bit and I just want to show you how wonderful and thick this is. It's absolutely beautiful for macaron centers. This is going to thicken up even more as it completely cools. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to transfer it to 
this bowl over here. And then, oh my gosh, it's so wonderful and thick. Let's move this over here so you can see how thick it is as it goes in the bowl. This is not gonna harden up into some candy-like texture. It's gonna stay, stay soft and smooth, um, but nice and firm and not too runny for macaron centers. So there it is. You are beautiful, nice, thick and glossy caramel for macaron centers. Hope that helps. Let me know if there's any questions in the comments and I'll try to answer. Okay, bye.